Welcome everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Final Fantasy V. We're just gonna dive right into this. So, uh, Final Fantasy, F this is on the, um, uh, Super Nintendo. There is, uh, the first time I played the game, though, it was on the Anthology for, uh, PlayStation, I believe. Um, played a bunch of it uh, when I, when I got it, and then I kind of just stopped playing it, and it's a, it's a game I really try to get into, but for some reason I keep, you know, getting bogged down on, you know, well, junk usually. Um, this is the, I guess the second Final Fantasy game that has the job system, and this is probably the first one that probably did the job system right, <laughs> to say the least. Um, Final Fantasy 3 did um, a job system, but literally none of the abilities carried over. It was literally just a class change with nothing carried over. Um, in this game, you can actually do some uh, mixing and matching a little bit. Um, so we'll see about that when we actually get started. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, I will warn you, the plot in this game is terrible, even for a, even for a Final Fantasy game. It's just really bad. The dialogue's not great. Uh, the characters are awful, but uh, that's kind of how it is for a lot of the old school uh, Final Fantasy games, unfortunately. But the gameplay itself is actually pretty good, and this game doesn't really get too off balance with the grinding, which is something I usually tend to do a lot of. Father. Do you really have to go? Lenny, you need to protect the castle. You mustn't follow me, but... Something about the wind bothers me. I must go check the crystal of the wind shrine. Yes, I can feel it too, but by yourself? Don't worry. The wind stopped. The wind stopped, I've got to hurry. The wind, has something happened to father?
Alright. And I have control. Right now I'm playing as question mark, and I'm at level 1, and I am normal. <laughs> That's pretty much all the information I have right now. Uh, anyway, the reason I decided to go back into this game um, was, well, I've been actually watching someone else play this game. I've been watching Karma Jolt and Megaharv doing sort of a co-op stream thing on Final Fantasy V. And, uh, I don't know, it got me into playing it. That, and I needed another RPG to play besides, uh... Well, I needed another game to play besides just Monster Hunter. <laughs> so... If you haven't seen Karma Jolt's uh, videos, they're actually pretty good. Probably better than me. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into this. We do actually start with a Chocobo. Um, his name is Boko, I believe. Alright, so wind has stopped and a meteor has fallen. Okay, wait here. Alright, I can't run yet. Well, I do have a fast forward button if I really, really want to do that. So this has the active time system. Get experience in gold. Are you okay? Y yes. Thank you very much for helping me. I'm Lena, and you... I'm... Please select a name. Butts. That is the default name in the NES version. I believe in the PlayStation version, it's Bart's. But we will remain butts. I'm butts, journeying with a chocobo to nowhere in particular. Butts. This thing suddenly came falling from the sky. The blast sent me flying and I fell unconscious. Is it a meteor? A meteor? Might it have something to do with the wind stopping? Thank you so much. I wish I could repay you, but I must hurry. Hey, wait a sec. Did you hear something? Huh? Ugh. Run. Help. I don't hear anything. Let's go. It's coming from over there. Alright. Well, first I'm gonna go down here. And you get a Phoenix Down. Uh, in this game, Phoenix Downs are a thousand gold each, um, so it's a, actually a good find. Are you alright? Where am I? Ugh, my head. What? What's with me? I can't remember. I can't remember a thing. You hit your head? Is it amnesia? Ah, that's right. My name's Galuf. Anything else? Nope, I can't remember anything besides my name. I'm really very sorry, but I have to hurry. Where are you going? The Wind Shrine. The Wind Shrine? I have a feeling that's where I needed to go too. I'll go with you, but... I must go. Please take me with you. But what about you? I'll continue my journey. Butts, thank you so much. Goodbye. Farewell. Alright. Well, off we go. Go meet up with Boko. Boko, let's go. Anyway, can't run into any encounters while on Boko.
Ouch, Boko, don't stop so suddenly. Why are you giving me that look? Work, work, work. I know, it's an old man and a girl, and there's there are lots of goblins around here. Got it, Boko? Eek! Ugh! Okay, let's hurry. Work. Anyway, goblins don't really have anything special. They do have Goblin Punch, which might actually be dangerous at this point in the game. But it won't really matter in a second. Yeah, especially since I just leveled up. Hey, what? Thank you so very much. Ah, oh, stop that. The meteor shock collapsed cliffs and made the ground split. And now the road to tools been blocked. But, I have to get to the wind shrine. Ugh, un. To the wind shrine. Got to hurry. To the wind shrine. This old geezer, too. You know what? I'm going with you. What? Really? My dad, he said for me to travel the world and see things. And besides, the wind is calling. Say what you want, but isn't the, tr uh, the truth that you just want to be with this girl? Hey, you were awake? Of course I was. But the road has been blocked, what will we do? But we must go. Yeah. Well then, let's go. With no plan whatsoever. Alright, so we have a party now. Nothing too special about any of these people. Um, their stat growth is slightly different between the characters, but that's about it. Also, you might notice that every character can equip, equip just about everything at the moment. Equipment-wise... Um, broadsword... Knife... Nothing. And everyone's wearing leather. Anyway, only location we can go to now is this cave. Cave in such a place, it must have been formed by that earth earthquake. Okay, it's dangerous ahead. You've got to stay back here. Work. Nothing too special about this place. That spring. That random encounter. So if you're unarmed, you'll actually punch twice, assuming you're not equipped with a shield. So even though Guluf has the lowest attack power, he does at least attack twice at the moment. And this would apply to anyone. Like, I could switch the weapons around if I want to at this point. Alright. So we got our full heals from that.
Right now, Butts does the most damage because he has a sword. But like I said, for, as far as the characters are concerned, there's not too much of a difference. Their stat growths are slightly different. Not by much. And since this game runs on a class system, it's going to be mostly unnoticed. Uh, there is front row and back rows in this game, including for the enemies. So that's something to be aware of if you try to attack the back row. Anyway, I just split it that way so I can get the kills off in one round instead of waiting for butts to take another turn. That button. Other helmet. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. We'll give uh, the helmet to Lena. Uh, there is equipment weight, though I don't remember what that does. And of course, there's the standard stuff: strength, agility, vitality, magic power. Um, unlike in Final Fantasy IV, uh, there's only one stat for magic. So you don't have to worry about wisdom and willpower. In the back row you take less damage but you also deal less damage unless you're using something like a bow or uh, magic or like a throwing weapon. There's ways to get around it in this game, which I'll probably show off. What's that? That ship, how does it sail without wind? So if I step out through that door, it literally just puts you in a spot to kind of save your game and stuff like that. That's about it. That was kind of a weak hit, Lena. Buzz is just getting beaten on. Do we even have any items? Uh, we have three potions in that Phoenix down we picked up. Frame rate. Beat up Gil for, for, for a bit. What's funny is that the first time I played this game and Gilef literally started with no weapons and was just punching people, I immediately made him a monk when I could. Alright, some level ups, nothing too special. must be the pirate's hideout, so that ship we saw was a pirate ship. I wonder if we can get, uh, we, I wonder if we couldn't get a ride. Uh, these are pirates we're talking about here. Well, then we haven't but to sneak the ship ourselves. Hey, old man, you're more daring than I thought. some stuff, but really we can't go anywhere at the moment. A 
locked. Is, uh, I fixed the ship's wheel, Captain. Take the wheel, Sildra. I'm just walking around. I already know where I'm supposed to go. I was just curious to see if there's anything you can actually find down here. There probably is, but I don't remember. Well, let's take that wheel, shall we? We're off! What's, what's wrong? It's no use, it won't move at all. What's going on here? And just what do you think you're doing? How bold you are just tr going to sneak in here and steal my ship, eh? I am Tycoon's Princess Lena. I apologize for trying to just take your ship like that. Tycoon's? Princess? Please, lend us your ship. I must get to the wind shrine. My father is in danger. Yeah, you're Tycoon's princess. This is this one's going to be worth a lot. Stop. I beg you. That pendant. Keep, keep them locked up. Yes, Captain. Now, something that's really funny about the anthology, um, or at least what I remember from it, Ferris, in that in the in the anthology version on the PlayStation, talks like a pirate, and I think she talks like a pirate through the entire game, and it's it's, it's even more awful. This is great. Who the heck said we should steal this boat anyway? Hey, there, old man. I think that was you. Oh, my head hurts. I can't remember. What a convenient excuse. But that sure was a shock that Lena was the Princess of Tycoon. I'm sorry, I wasn't intending to hide it. But why were you going to the Wind Shrine by yourself? Because my father is there, and when the wind stopped, I thought something bad had happened. So I snuck out of the castle alone, and then the, that meteor came falling from the sky. Why would the Princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as me? She said her father is at the Wind Shrine. We're heading for the Wind Shrine. Captain, what should we do with these people? Untie the ropes. Hurry up! Why? I'm saying that I'm, I'm going to lend you my help, isn't that good enough? We're off! To the winter eye! Are you guys going to listen to me? Answer me. I, I, I sir. But with the wind stop, how will the ship move? You really want him now? Soldier, why don't you introduce yourself? How about that? Soldier and I grew up together. We're basically brothers. We're off.
All right. Would you like me to navigate until we get to the wind shrine? Sure. I mean, I could go to town if I want to, but I'd rather just go here first. I'm gonna make a save. We'll put it down here. Princess Lena. What in the world is going on? The wind suddenly stopped and the monsters came rushing into the shrine. What about father? King, King Tycoon has gone up to the top floor, but he hasn't come back. Something must have happened. The crystal room is on the top floor. Let's go. Paris. Thanks. Uh, King Tycoon went to the top floor to see what was going on with the crystal. The wind crystal has, was being controlled by a machine. The machine suddenly stopped responding to our commands. Uh, please, Princess Lena, please take these with you. Five potions. Uh, the, the, this water will revitalize you when you drink it. Alright, we're healed up. Monsters raided the shrine and we ended up fleeing to this room. Alright, so... Oh, we have Ferris now. Uh, Ferris is equipped with a dagger, a leather shield, and some leather armor. Do that for right now. Alright. Currently, until we uh, get access to job classes, literally all we can do is fight an item at the moment. A Final Fantasy staple at this point. Actually, do they even use tents anymore? I don't even think they do. Was it? I mean, that Final Fantasy that had freaking. Hey, the Sacred Power protects this spot. You can rest using a tent or cabin. You can also save your game. Sure, I will save again. What was that game that had lightning in it? I think that one you didn't ever need to use a tent because it auto healed you after every combat. Okay, so if we'd gone back the other way, we could have, um... Alright, I was just checking. Uh, that there's the boss, so we're gonna go back the other way real quick and get, uh, that treasure chest we missed. I mean, to be honest, we don't really need to, because I'm gonna be going back down here anyway. Might as well get the extra experience while we can. Okay, 
go, Ferris. A broadsword. Yay, weapons. Here, go if you can have a knife. There's anything else in this area? Let's go fight with this person. Stand guard. Do enough damage to kill it? One way to find out. Nope. Oh, just barely. Take all. And there's still more. Oh, hopefully we don't die. Because that would be inconvenient. Hey, a rod. The crystal, it's shattered. Spirit of Fire, Courage. Spirit of Water, Kindness. Spirit of Earth, Hope. Spirit of Wind, Pursuit. What? In the world? It feels warm. The Crystal Spirits. Lena. Father. Listen well, you are the chosen warriors, the four who hold the spirits. Father, what do you mean? One crystal has shattered, and it seems as though the other three crystals will as well. You must protect them, an evil spirit is about to return. One that will plunge all into darkness. Father! Go, chosen warriors, protect the crystals. What are these? Pieces of the crystal. The 
crystal pieces, these hold the powers of the ancient heroes that dwell within. Knight, Black Belt. Blue Mage, Thief. Black Mage, White Mage. These are the crystals that are lending us their power. Let's talk later, we need to get out of here. Lena. If I remember correctly, there should be a warp gate to the outside behind the altar. Alright, so now we have access to jobs. We have Knight, which is kind of your standard, wears heavy ar armor, shields, uses swords, um, they can cover people, um, they eventually also get the ability to wield a weapon it with two hands, do double damage. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Uh, Monk is all about unarmed combat, they, they have tons of HP, but their armor kind of sucks. Um, they also can counterattack when they get hit physically. Um, that's about it. Uh, they. You know, obviously they do extra damage with their arm arm strike and all that good stuff. Um, Thief, uh, not really good at combat at all, but they can steal things. They also have the ability to dash and see hidden passages in the overworld. White Mage is all about healing and support spells mainly. They can use staffs. Black Mage can use um, rods and they know offensive spells like standard fire, you know, ice, lightning type stuff as well as a few status effects. Um, and then Blue Mage is the is kind of a hybrid caster that uh, whose uh, blue magic revolves around learning monster abilities. So what I'm going to be doing through most of this is going to be um, learning... Uh, I mean, one of the things that you get really bogged down to in this game is like all, trying to master all the classes and things like that. Um, what I'm probably going to focus on is mainly blue magic, because I usually never do that. It's like, I'll usually get, like, the abilities, but I end up never using blue magic because I'm usually always focused on other caster classes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everyone into a blue mage for right now. Now you might notice there's a little, uh, level. There's job levels in this game, and as you learn job levels, you can actually apply those to, um, Oh, I see. There's a dagger and a knife. Those are different. Good to know. Uh, I believe you can use rods from the back row. Anyway, um, so changing classes will affect your stats, and as you gain job levels, um, you'll get uh, certain abilities based off the class, and you can actually use those abilities um, um, to apply to other classes. Like, for example, if you learned, like, uh, if you gained a level in Black Mage, you'll get uh, essentially Black Magic 1 which means you get the basic level of black magic and you can and then you can switch classes and up and choose to pick that that skill from black mage and you'll essentially be like a white mage that knows white and black magic or you can be a monk that knows black magic or you know all sorts of weird little combinations um, also every class has their own innate abilities like for example you can learn how to dash as well or see hidden passages but if you play as, if you just pick thief you'll have them automatically um, and then there's the normal um, which essentially can equip any weapons and armor. Also, they have the ability, they have two slots to, that they can apply abilities to. Um, all the other classes only have one slot because they have their primary slot as their actual job. Um, also, I believe the normal um, can get stat increases based off what jobs you've mastered, but we're, it's, it takes a ton of job points to master any of these classes. So uh, don't expect too much from that. Anyway, um, Actually, for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and make Butts into a Thief. And I'm just going to give Ferris the uh, broadsword. Uh, the only reason I'm making uh, Butts a Thief at the moment is just so I can actually... Um, see passages, as well as Dash. So that can allow us, you know, find some hidden stuff here and there. Um, the main reason... Oh, it's going to go through the tutorial, isn't it? 
I kind of just explained it. How to use the pieces of the crystals? Would you like an explanation of the job ability system? Sure. Final Fantasy's five job ability system. The warriors chosen by the crystals gain the powers of the ancient heroes that rest within them. Thus, they are granted jobs. By using a job, each of the four warriors can gain special skills of that job. These we will we call abilities. So yeah, that's that's essentially how it works. When you select a job or any abilities, your equipment will for a moment be removed. Don't worry, it will automatically be re-equipped with optimal equipment. By combining jobs and abilities skillfully, you can create new types of characters. You might make a black mage that can jump, or a knight that can use white magic. As an example, let's create a knight that uses white magic. First, select the white mage for a character's job. Then, as you gain ability points, A, B, P, in battle, you will eventually earn the white mage's ability, White. Next, change the character job to Knight, then select White from the ability menu, select Equipment for your Knight. And now you have a Knight that can use White Magic. There you go. That's it. We're gonna go back in here real quick. We can now dash, so that's gonna make things a little bit easier for us. And we're just gonna go get healed. And since I have the thief, I'm gonna be able to see hidden passages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through here real quick. And hopefully my cat will learn to sit down in a second. Or not. Oh, I can steal by the way. Okay, so the good news is that Black Goblin used belt, uh, Goblin Punch. So by the end of this fight, we should be able to get um, our first blue magic. ABP. So now we get ABP, and we just learned Goblin Punch. Alright, so since we know Goblin Punch now, I can put my characters in the back row. So what Goblin Punch does is a zero-cost blue magic that does... Um, it pretty much just does your weapon damage, which for the most part you're like, okay, whatever. Um, but it does it with, uh, it ignores row, row uh, penalties. It also will, um, if you happen to be the equal level to whatever you're fighting, uh, you will do times 8 damage. It also will ignore any sort of negative qualities a certain uh, a certain weapon may, may have. So yeah, Lena was equal level to that snake, so she did times eight damage right there. For the most part, we're not going to be equal level to anything we're fighting, but we can now safely attack from the back row without any penalties. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here, but I'll check again. So now I can clearly see the hidden passages. Blue mage is kind of like a red mage if you're familiar with those classes. Um, they're kind of, they're, they can use you know swords and shields and stuff like that. But it is pretty. Um, their melee capabilities will kind of alter eventually. Uh, 
Uh, now the Moldwin, I believe, can actually cast a spell. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I just killed it, so that's my bad. I'm just seeing this thing. Okay, it just does fire. Oh, I'm nearly dead, but that's alright. Steal. So I can attack the back row with no issue as well. And I'm equal level, so I do times eight damage. Got a rod. Anyway, there's an item over here. Potion, that's good. And we got a staff, which is Good for a white mage, but we don't have a white mage at the moment. So I'm just checking up here real quick. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're good. Aim to attack. Steal. I don't remember what those things have, if anything. But yeah, I want to focus on blue magic, because I usually ignore it, even though I go through a lot of effort to learn certain abilities. So I'm going to see how well it goes. Um, I will still learn like other classes, but my primary class for a while is going to be Blue Mage. Hey, got leather shoes. That's actually really useful. Uh, here we go, Ferris. Get you all geared up. Um, Bart's, or Butts, sorry, is going to be um, kind of just Thief Blue Magic guy, and that's pretty much it. His only job is to kind of be there and steal things, as well as be the person that handles running away, dashing, and revealing hidden passageways. Alright, so one thing I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Uh, I am going to go ahead and try to learn Arrow from that, um, from that one enemy I was talking about, so, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and call this a video. Um, I'll probably have a few job levels, maybe some additional experience. It's not going to be that significant, um, but it'll help at least. Uh, so I am the Depressed Hero. This was Final Fantasy V. See you guys later.